as your density drops, the likelihood of particles colliding right. goes down. Exactly. It's, it's the difference between living in New York City and living in rural Kansas. Your chances of having an accident go way down when you're in rural Kansas. Well, uh, uh, the chances of walking into someone by That's accident. That's what I mean. Okay. Right. Colliding. A <laughs> collision <laughs> accident. A collision of any kind right. in principle. But Thank yes. you. So, so, yes. And so while the universe is expanding, matter is not only becoming less dense, it's also cooling. Mm. And so the speeds of these particles drop. Gotcha. And so, in fact, you can look at how much hydrogen and and helium is in the universe in parts of the universe that have not been altered severely and go back and deduce what those conditions must have been. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you can go back and derive these from first principles and those two, num those two calculations match up. Gotcha. And so that's why we have very high confidence in what was going on in the early universe. Nice. Yeah. And whereas in a star, you make your, hyd your hydrogen, you have your helium, right. and you just keep going up the chain, and you are hot, you are dense. The stuff doesn't get less dense down there. It gets even more right. dense. Right. You're good. Good to go. See? So, okay. Man, that's great. Yeah. I said it gets more. It doesn't. It, 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 just, it gets, just gets. It's, it's there contained, whereas right. the universe is expanding and cooling. Right. That's the difference. First of all, the Big Bang was a name given to this idea that the universe started in this one primordial explosion. It was given 